Hi everybody, my name is David Deutsch and I'm here on behalf of Project 44, which is a Chicago-based technology company that provides multimodal visibility solutions to shippers, brokers, as well as 3PLs. It's really a thrill to be here uh, this morning to help kick off this inaugural event, and I'd like to thank FreightWaves, uh, both for hosting us as well as giving us the opportunity to speak this morning. Uh, in just a few moments here, I'm going to demonstrate how information retrieved from the Project 44 API network can be uploaded and stored on a permissioned blockchain instance that is built on top of the Hyperledger fabric. Now, I know that's a lot of technical jargon wrapped up into a single sentence, so allow me to break that down just a bit. Project 44's core offering is a network that allows shippers to automate communication with their carriers via a one-to-many API connection. For example, instead of calling or emailing a carrier uh, in order to schedule a pickup or sending an EDI 204, the shipper can send a simple API request through the Project 44 network and receive an instant confirmation back from the carrier over the web. Now, because blockchain is such a hot topic right now in the supply chain space, we inevitably get a few blockchain-related questions whenever we demonstrate our solution to prospective customers or prospective partners. The most common questions are usually, is blockchain a replacement for APIs? And if not, can APIs and blockchain be used together? The answer to the first question is no. Blockchain is not a replacement for APIs, and I'm not just saying that because it's good for our business. Uh, generally speaking, APIs are a communication layer. They allow disparate systems and applications to communicate with one another over the web in real time. Blockchain, on the other hand, is more of a storage layer. It's essentially a database that has some very unique properties. Now, the answer to the second question is a resounding yes. Blockchain and API technology can most definitely be used in conjunction with one another. And in fact, any effective deployment or implementation of blockchain technology is probably going to rely on a sound API strategy. Blockchain is essentially a database, and just like any database, um, it's only as powerful as the data sources that are feeding it. APIs provide a gateway to reliable and high-quality information that can be funneled into the blockchain. So without further ado, uh, let me provide an example of that concept in action. What you're looking at on the screen is an interface that is uh, connected already to both the Project 44 API network as well as to an underlying blockchain instance that is built on that Hyperledger fabric that I mentioned earlier. Every time I request information from the API network, the request data set along with the associated responses will be uploaded and stored on the blockchain as immutable timestamp records or blocks. Let me start off with an example of a quote request. So you can see on the screen, it's been pre-populated with all of the information that we'll need to generate and retrieve quotes from carriers, uh, including origin and destination information, package dimensions, and some additional data points. Let me go ahead and submit the request out to the network. When I do that, we'll broadcast the request out to the associated carriers, and as those quotes are returned, we'll render them within the interface, as you can see here. In parallel to that process, that uh, quote request as well as the associated responses will be appended to the blockchain as inalterable records. Let's take a look. So I click on the block icon in the upper right hand corner. We'll navigate to a new interface that allows us to visualize all of the information that has been captured on the blockchain thus far. So as I scroll to the bottom, you can see that we've added five new records, uh, one record that represents the quote request, and four records that correspond to each of the quotes that have been returned by those carriers. If I click into one of the blocks, we can see the underlying structured data set that the block actually stores. For example, the response from ArcBrest Freight lists the anticipated rate for the shipment, a valid quote number, along with an estimated delivery time. The block also stores uh, some critical metadata, most notably the timestamp at which the transaction was appended to the blockchain. Let me go one step further into the shipment lifecycle and actually initialize a pickup request with my preferred carrier. Again, as we get the confirmation back from the carrier, the application will take that information, that transaction, and append it to the blockchain. 
And you can see that information in those new records within the app, the dispatch request and response, and we can see some of the underlying data that has been returned by the API and ultimately stored on the blockchain. We've also provided a quick simulation of how new tracking updates that are being sourced from the network can be appended to the blockchain. Obviously, they won't be quite this, they won't be quite this quick uh, in a real-time scenario, but we've simulated and compressed the time frame to just to give you all an example of how that information can be stored. So how can this particular application of blockchain technology solve real business problems that each of you face? And what is the advantage of storing your information on a blockchain as opposed to a more traditional centralized database? Well, as I had mentioned earlier, a blockchain has some very unique and powerful properties that distinguish it from any other type of data storage system. A blockchain is a distributed and immutable record of transactions, which is really just a fancy way of saying that it creates a shared version of the truth that can't be changed by any party that has access uh, to the blockchain. So let's imagine a scenario in which a dispute arises between a shipper and a carrier that's caused by a discrepancy between a quote and an invoice. Maybe an accessorial fee on the invoice does not align with what was originally promised uh, within the quote. With blockchain, both the shipper and the carrier will have full visibility uh, into records that represent the invoice and quote that are guaranteed to be accurate due to the permanence and immutability of the blockchain. Uh, this results in either a swift resolution of the dispute or an outright prevention of the dispute ever occurring in the first place. Uh, so thank you so much, everybody, for the opportunity to speak today. It was truly a ple pleasure to present to all of you. Uh, again, thank you to FreightWaves for giving us this, uh, this opportunity to speak today, and hopefully I'll have a chance to connect with each and every one of you uh, throughout the conference. Thank you so much.